Today we're going to talk about the Knight's Tale. Um, typically, we divide it into four parts. Um, so you should have read all four parts before watching this video. Um, we have, let's see, I'm going to minimize myself here. Um, we have a couple of characters. We have Thesis, Hippolyta, Emily, R.C. Palamon. Um, so to start us off here, we have Thesis. He is the prince of Athens, and he marries Hippolyta, who's the queen of the Amazons. Now, they are going to travel together to defeat King Creon. Now, where Emily comes in the picture, she is actually the sister of Hippolyta. Um, so it gets a little tricky there, but just to kind of keep that in order there. Um, now, I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty plot details here for you because I'm hoping that you can kind of distinguish that yourself. Um, but simply, Thesis and Hippolyta are together. They have Emily as well. Now, Emily is a very beautiful young woman. Um, and she makes all of the men come to her. Okay. Um, so as Thesis takes over King Creon's army, he wants to seek revenge. He seeks revenge by taking two young men or two cousins. And remember when we went over Beowulf, um, we talked about the term cousin is very relative. So we don't know if that means brother, cousin, friend, wait, well, we don't know. Okay. So there's two cousins that they take here. Um, R.C. and Palamon, and they constantly fight over Emily from the jail cell. They only see her from the bars of the jail. Now, who saw her first is the argument here, okay? Um, oh, Emily, how art thou Emily, okay? Um, who actually saw her first? So R.C. is released from prison, and Palamon envies our seat for that. Now, I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty of the plot, but I want you to focus on specifically uh, astrology and mythology here. So when Thesis goes to battle on his shield, he has a red Mars. So Mars specifically here is what we're talking about. And then there's also a reference to the gods or the goddesses. So Venus, the goddess of love, Mars, the god of war, and Diana, the goddess of chastity. Um, so there's a strange blending here of ancient Greek goddesses and gods with medieval literature. So how, how are these two being blended together uh, for medieval English storytelling is really peculiar. Um, now, the concept here, we talked about chivalry before, the concept of chiv chivalric love um, or chivalric romance as the knights are driven um, to two great extremes for the love for a, of a beautiful woman. So chivalry is a moral code that knights need to follow. Palamon and Arce are knights. Now, this is where it gets tricky because I am a knight. And my knight's code or my moral code is that I cannot leave my brother. I cannot leave my knight or my uh, my fellow knight, my fellow brother in arms for a woman because that's the chivalric code, right? Well, Emily pops in the picture and that's when R.C. Ar and Palamon kind of abandon each other, right? Despite them being in the same prison cell together. Um, now you're going to see in a time when we have our freedom of speech being limited, Chaucer's going to break those limits, right? Um, especially when we read the partner's tale, you're going to see how those limits are exceeded um, and we'll see how those connections are really between the tellers and the tales. Um, so I want you to keep those things in mind.